All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Transparent Command Pods Repressurized mod, which was originally made by user NLI to work. It's now being continued by Zero Kerbal. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is, well, as the name might suggest, some transparent command pods, which are just gorgeous pieces of work. Now, along with that, we do also get a handful of other assorted parts, but the real focus here is on these command pods. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get. Now, let's grab ourselves a Mark I lander can for size comparison's sake, and then turn on our mod filter, just leaving on transparent pods. And we'll have a look at the first of the three command pods here, the Panopticon command pod, which as you can see, is beautiful with just an amazing amount of detail and of course once more as the name suggests for this mod a nice transparent view where you can even see the kerbals on the interior doing their work and what makes this possible is well a prerequisite that you will need to make this transparency work and that is the JSI advanced transparent pods mod bit of a mouthful there but with it you'll be able to make uh, this transparency work as well as uh, transparent cockpits for a number of other compatible mods which is pretty cool now with Without that installed, you can still use these, they'll just look like this, with that just solid blue glass texturing on the outside, rather than this amazing transparent glass, which, I mean, is just way better. Now, as for the stats on this thing, it's a very nice command pod, with a maximum crew capacity of three, minimum of one to operate, has, of course, a built-in data transmitter reaction wheel, SAS crew report, 200 electric charge charge and 15 mono prep all in all, pretty nice and useful, and has an interesting feature with its attachment points. Now, both on the top and bottom, we actually have two different attachment nodes, as you're able to see there. And uh, the different nodes will denote, basically, what sort of support structure you have attaching this just beautiful transparent command pod to the rest of your ship. And if you go with the outside node, you'll get this much more substantial flaring out support here which is quite nice now if we go to the bottom attachment node we just get these much more small sort of uh structural supports here which of course make it useful on two different sizes of fuselage as you can see here it actually fits nicely in line going downward with our mark one lander can but if we go to the outside attachment point well now it looks more useful for a 2.5 meter size of fuselage or tank and uh, looks a bit more structural in nature which is very cool and of course we have the same thing on the top if we attach the exterior node we get that and the in interior node we get that all in all pretty cool to have those options making this again a bit more usable with different sizes of ships now the next one we'll have a look at here is the cyclops command pod which doesn't have that sort of uh dual node support but does of course have an attachment node on the top and bottom and uh yeah it's just a very cool looking single crew member command pod with of course a minimum of one to operate a built-in data a transmitter reaction wheel SAS the usual crew report 75 electric charge though oddly with a 70 max kind of kind of awkward there but hey all right and 10 mono propellant and all in all the interior of this thing is just again a very gorgeous with a lot of cool detailing and if you do pilot from the interior you have an amazing field of view just with I mean you just have windows everywhere it's pretty darn nice and the final command pod we have here is the mono pressurized command chair which oh I love this thing it is basically just a command chair with a big bubble around it and it's it's beautiful i think this one honestly might be my favorite i mean this one's just awesome but i have a lot more use 
with this one, considering the fact that instead of just a top and bottom attachment point, it's actually a top and then side attachment point, making this thing very cool and usable for building space trucks or shuttles in orbit, things of that variety. I, lo I love building rovers and such, and a command pod like this lends itself a lot more to that. And again, just all in all, is pretty cool. Now, stats-wise, again, it only holds one Kerbal, minimum of one to operate, with a built-in data transmitter, RCS, a reaction wheel, SAS, the crew report, 50 electric charge, and 25 mono propellant. And I really like the RCS that is built into it. As you can see, we have a number of different RCS blocks, one on the bottom there, the top, the sides, and even back here, all very well built into the whole system and just looks good. Now, like I said, we have a few more parts than just these command pods. And if we actually head down to ground, we'll see the next two parts, two different lovely lander legs. But as the name says here, they're small. We have the radial micro leg as well as the ventral micro leg. Now, both of them, well, tiny, but quite useful still if you're making a small probe or, well, actually, maybe even landing a ship that you've built with this, having these tiny little lander legs may be just the right design that you need. And all in all, a good design to them. Very nice looking. And the final few parts we have are in utility, where one, we have the micro claw, which is a, well, just small grappler, which if we attach there and deploy, there we are. We can now grapple onto things. And then we have two different handrails, a short handrail, as well as a long handrail. And these are nice just to add a little bit more more of an industrial or usable aesthetic to your space stations, rovers, or bases to just, you know, give it a little bit more uh, texturing to it, which is pretty darn cool. Now let's go take a look at these things out in the world, especially the uh, beautiful command pods here, because, I mean, come on, the view is amazing from in them. And let's just head to the launch pad where I have a very poorly made craft with all of them just in the line. And we'll briefly talk about a couple other mods that aren't necessarily prerequisites, but it is highly recommended that you do get them. Now, you may have noticed when we were looking at the command pods, we have these screens in front of each of the Kerbal seats. And if you uh, have roster prop monitor installed, they serve as heads up displays, which is very cool and very useful. Now you don't need roster prop monitor, but if you don't have it installed, it will literally just be a blank white sheet basically in front of you, taking up a sizable portion of your uh, field vision, which uh, yeah, it would be kind of a hindrance if you're like, if you like to pilot from the interior of your ships. Now there are also usable switches on the inside of the cockpits here, which uh, work along with more DV's avionic systems. Again, not a prerequisite. You don't have to have it, but it just makes things a bit more useful. Now, as for the transparency here, the main sort of draw of this mod, just just look at it. You can see the Kerbals in there doing their thing. It's just wonderful. Now, of course, just because of how the game can do transparencies with how the engine works, there are some oddities. I mean, if we're looking from side on, they all look beautiful, but say if we angle up top, you can see that it does want to go transparent from the solid top of the whole thing. So uh, yeah, just a minor little thing, which just unfortunately is just a function of how the game works. But yeah, when you are looking at them from different angles, it can be a bit awkward. But from your predominantly viewed angles, at least in my opinion, it just looks good. And if you fly from the interiors, oh boy, it's beautiful. Now, as I mentioned with the screens here, like I said, it does take up a sizable portion of your field of view, but with roster prop monitor installed, you can make it a useful frame of reference for you to mess around with things. And if you do have any mods installed that add in cameras, we of course have camera controls, which is pretty nice to have. And all in all, pretty darn cool. And of course, the various usable switches 
which is uh, down here. Always nice to see. And uh, then just the awesome view from the interior here. I mean, come on, just look. Just look all around you at all the beauty. It's great. Let's move on to the next seat here, where again we have all the great switches, the Aroused Prob Monitor heads up display, and just a great view. And of course, Space Squid. And uh, moving on to the next one, where we have a much more substantial Space Squid there on the door. So, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Now, you may have also noticed as we're looking around, our Kerbals do kind of glitch out a little bit in this scenario with the transparencies. Um, yeah, another minor oddity, but again, in my opinion, well worth it for what the transparency all does. Now into the Cyclops Command Pod, another useful set of a usable buttons for you to play around with, and of course the roster prop monitor screen, always good, and again, just a great field of view for your Kerbal to see pretty much all around them. And then finally, the Mono Pressurize Command Chair, where we have a tiny little space squid, our usual little controls here, always nice, and of course, our monitor screen and the once more amazing field of view just a great set of parts here i really really do like them and you can make some cool stuff with them imagine using the this uh central panopticon a bit here as maybe a control tower off world on one of your bases or as you know the central core of a space station you've built or as i already mentioned earlier with the mono pressurized command chair making some sort of space truck it works out well or as i have made to show this mod off a little bit more a cool little shuttle and uh yeah just a, it's a small little part but a very cool little command pod that offers a lot of potential usability and with our fun little lander legs here we do have the ability to land this thing and uh actually it does take off this is one of my quickly thrown together awkward creations that um actually works that's that's strange for me this is this is a new feeling for me to actually make something that functions in one of these mod reviews but yes you can have some good fun with all these various parts and if you'd like to check it out for yourself which i would certainly recommend you go and do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but that is going to be it for this episode today my friends i hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking to get another wonderful mod. But until that time, I thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!